the way the way he's carrying himself. So like if you were to look at a guy and he like quickly shifted eye contact away, or if or if he's just kind of looking around like you know unsure of himself and stuff like that, it's it's more. That's why I think the best way to describe it is being like comfortable in your own skin. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I wanted to share with you guys a clip from a recording of a recent call I had for my mentorship group where I talk about how to not be a pussy. Okay, that, this was a question from a student. It's a very common question. I made a whole video in the past devoted towards depussification about how to not fall into that pussy category. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the video recording clip that gives my explanation of how not to be a pussy. But look for at the end, I have a, a video called Depussification 101. I'm going to link that at the end and also in the description in the pinned comment. And that's worth watching as well. Okay. Um, and, it, you know, keep in mind that I made that video after drinking a whole lot of fucking alcohol in the past. I haven't drank in a year and a half. But, you know, that video is kind of funny. I made it in a, in a passionate state. Um, if you have interest in mastering the game and getting extremely good at it, you can jump on a free 30 minute call with me. The link is in the description and we'll keep that, uh, the link, uh, reminder up in the bottom of the video as we, as we look at this recording of how not to be a pussy, but this is very important. I can't stress this enough. Okay. I've played a game where I've walked around with hot chicks, like at the mall or out in public, and I can point to a girl and say, is that guy a pussy? Boom. Yes. Okay. We, you can size them up in half a second. And the girl will agree with me 99 times out of 100, okay? Men and women alike can sense who has a backbone, who is a pussy, who is an alpha, who's not, etc. okay? And I'm going to do a breakdown soon where we have Myron Gaines from Fresh and Fit uh, attempting to be an alpha, but it's all just copycat alpha behavior. It's a beta guy pretending to be alpha, and I think it's a really good example. I'm going to break down where he tries to kick a girl off his show, but it's not congruent whatsoever with who he really is inside and his personality. I'm going to walk through and break that down. But it's just very obvious, okay? And it, it's very hard to find real alpha coaches real, and, you know, real alpha guys in the game and stuff like that. So I'm going to play this video, and I hope you enjoy. And also, if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below. Press the notification bell for alerts of new videos every single day. And I will catch you guys after the video. My most, I guess you could say my most important question was, this is a serious question, by the way. Um, I guess, you know, no, with no other way to word it better, uh, how do you, <laughs> how does like somebody stop being like a pussy, like a total pussy, like a, you know, how do you stop being a bitch, basically? Have you watched my videos on that? I did. I did. The, to just fighting? Getting into martial oh, arts? No, everyone, everyone always... No, that's not supposed to be the message. I, I maybe articulated it wrong in those videos. Um, no, it's definitely not supposed to be the message. It's it's more like um, I think it comes down to just being comfortable in your own skin, being being willing to like you know stand up for for the values you hold or being able to speak your mind. Um, you know, not not being not being afraid to ruffle feathers, not being afraid if people don't like you. It's it's basically the ability to like own what you bring to the table and be unapologetic about it in that sense. And then be willing to um, just like having a backbone. And yeah, it is, it is a very interesting question. And I don't have an exact answer. It's, I'm, it's something I always am trying to wrestle with and how to explain because guys, guys ask about that. And I, I talk about it with other guys. Like the, the fact remains that, that you could look around like in a mall or something like that and, and look at a guy and say like, that guy seems to be a pussy even before he's talked just the way they're kind of carrying themselves, the way they, the, the way they're kind of looking around. It's you don't even need to hear them speak, and, and the girls sense it too. I'll play a game with girls. Like, do you think that guy is supposed to do you think that guy is supposed to do that? And it's you know what you're saying is, does, does that guy seem kind of like a beta male? That's that's um, that's like a lower value, and it's it's more of just like the guys, the way the way he's carrying himself. So like if you were to look at a guy and he like quickly shifted eye contact away, or if or if he's just kind of looking around, like, you know, unsure of himself and stuff like that. It's, it's more, that's why I think the best way to describe it is being like comfortable in your own skin. It's like, and that doesn't mean you need to be jacked or, or anything like that either. It's, 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 um, if like, if something went not how the way you wanted it, or someone was disrespecting you, it doesn't necessarily mean you need to go to be willing to go to a physical fight. It's more of, 
are you willing to like take a stand and and be congruent with taking a stand and also be able to like freely express um, how you feel about things, be able to make decisions and lead and, and stuff like that. So uh, my uncle, he, he was like a big player back in the day. He gave me a piece of advice. He said like the correct move in almost every situation is just looking at like a, what a very alpha guy would do. Like what would even, it can even be like a movie character. Like what would the, what would the, what would James Bond do? What would, um, like Leonardo DiCaprio do or whatever, just the way they portray themselves in films. He's like, would they be like worried about a girl not texting them back? Would they be worried to tell someone how it is? Would they be worried to like drop a girl because she fucked up? Like, you know, so that, that kind of gives you, but those are just like specific situations. You, you kind of want to, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to describe it. It's, it's, it's really, it's really being able to, to be how you want to be and and own it. And, and, um, whatever, whatever that may be, right. You, you can be like, uh, it can come in all shapes and sizes, but, but being, being able to like have your own convictions to lead, to like call people out if they cross boundaries, to not censor yourself when you're talking about stuff. Like I'm the only coach that calls people out. And, and I'm the only, and I look at all the fucking heat I'm taking recently for that. Um, yeah, I saw that. Pretty crazy. Yeah, it's like pretty seriously damaging my business. I'm having to get uh, some lawyers involved here, but I guess the guys is slandering the shit out of me with false claims. But um, you know, being being willing willing to stand up for yourself and, and and all this stuff, and not and not care what people think, and not care if you offend the girl or upset the girl or if she doesn't like how you're behaving. It, you know, it, within reason, again, it doesn't, it's not free reign to go be a jackass and a clown and all this stuff. It's more of like, I'm comfortable with who I am. I, I believe in my own value, what I bring to the table. I'm not afraid to express myself or express what I think about different things. And those that like, that don't like it, you know, can, you know, not necessarily you need to be a confrontational thing, but it doesn't bother you. You're willing to you're not a people pleaser. You're not just doing things to make sure everyone's happy. And you're not ruffling feathers. It's more like you kind of, I hate these phrases, but it's hard to describe Like you're living in your own reality. You have your mm. own, you have your own convictions, your own values, et cetera. And then you live in congruence with those rather than trying to make everybody happy. And, and um, you know, like, girls want a guy like these three girls in the house. Like if they fuck up, like they know I'll be fucking pissed. And they know that if they continue to fuck up, like I'll kick them out and shit like that. And they've seen me kick other hot girls to the curb and that kind of stuff just for lying one time and things like that. That doesn't mean like be a dictator or rule with an iron fist, but the girl has to sense some level of like you being an actual man. So right. Maybe looking back like 50 years ago at how men used to conduct themselves versus how men conduct themselves in large part in the modern day, uh, manliness and uh, manliness has dropped significantly. Being a pussy has gone up significantly, but people are like soft in the sense that, um, you know, it, it goes it goes all the way back to like, we, we don't really have, we don't have any great war. A lot of our generation is involved in, we didn't, a lot of us weren't working with our hands. We didn't have very many hardships to endure. So a lot of people are very, kind of like frail and you know other weird terms that get thrown out like breakable but again it's not about being like physically big or, or um being able to defend yourself in a fight it's more just about being able to be in congruence with your convictions and values and and kind of living independently of regardless of what people want you to do how to act or whatever you're kind of acting autonomously in that sense um you're not afraid to to do and say what you want and, and uh, you're not afraid to ruffle feathers or stand up for yourself or all those different types of things. Because most people are just going to go with the flow. They're going to not want to ruffle any feathers. They're not going to want to, like, go outside the lines, et cetera. And, and then you're just, like, another common person. Whereas it's rare for a guy to, um, you know, kind of go after what he wants and unapologetically do and say things and endure the – or whatever comes along with that for sure for sure no thank you um damn that makes a lot of sense cool so i hope that was helpful uh, i'm gonna try to dig into some other 
important question topics that I give good answers on in the mentorship without giving away too many things. Uh, keep in mind in the mentorship, it's no holds barred in the sense that I can give my direct secret sauce type stuff. On YouTube, I typically keep a limit and there's a wall for what kind of content I'll get into, how, how deep of explanations I'll get into, how much of my secret sauce I'll give away. That's mostly reserved for the paid products. Okay, but if you have interest in joining what statistically has become by far the best program in the industry, with most guys closing one to two new girls per week, even when they start as a virgin or with very minimal results, and most guys putting about one new rotation girl on per week, okay? So the program is eight weeks. A lot of guys are getting between eight and 16 lays throughout the whole eight weeks, okay, one to two a week. And a lot of guys are building between like a five and eight girl rotation, putting about one new girl on per week, sometimes slightly less, okay? So do not delay, the spots are limited there. Jump on a free 30 minute call to discuss that. And uh, please subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.